Hello, hi everyone. Most probably all of you has a dead battery from a laptop. And usually the problem is because one of those cells are dying. And you can test the cells with a simple multimeter or you could purchase some of those five dollars testers which is showing a lot of things and I will talk about in today's video about this tester. So let's disassemble a few cells just for test purposes. So what is the problem with, with the multimeter? The, with the multimeter if you are measuring a simple voltage let me make some space if you are measuring a simple voltage then it is showing some sign of life as 2.4 voltages which is well, should be okay-ish but the problem is that you cannot measure any capacity any internal resistance or anything regarding to the uh, power itself what the cell is capable to solve that situation we can have the tester ready with us and put that cell into the tester. So let's talk about the tester. The tester itself has two main parts. One is the entrance where you can use a battery simple just to drive the screen. There is the test section over here. You can even test an, an, uh, you can even test a power bank as well. And here is the 5 volt DC. And for that, to supply the tester, I will use a 15 watt uh, USB-C power adapter. And as you can see, it's already welcoming us. And we see that this cell has 2.36 volts, 0 amps, 0 watts, because we are not testing anything. And what you have to focus on, there are three buttons. This is simply on off, as you can see. This is the settings for this window itself. So if you press, then it will change the modes, what we are going to do. Uh, and if we press this one, then we can go down with that arrow or that direction. And there are the modes, like mode is charging, discharging and the auto. There is the stop, so that's it's uh, very important to set it up because that's the cut off voltage of that cell when you are discharging. Let me just make it double sure. <clears throat> so you should never discharge below a certain voltage your battery. If you are not sure what is your discharge voltage then I would recommend just to increase that number to 3 volts and make sure that it's, it's not discharging because if you have discharged it it's not safe and you can break your battery and you would have an irreparable or irreparable damage on your battery so just stay safe and use a safe voltage level for that going further there is the Going further, there is the looping. So the looping means how many times do you want to charge and discharge your battery. So if you set it as once, once it will charge and once it will discharge. So that's simple. If you set it to two, then it will to make two loops. And this is the start. So if I hit it, then this will start to charge in the status our battery and you would see that the voltage is increasing the amps in it's increasing this is a multiplier and we have the capacity in amp milliamp hours and there is the power in milliwatt hours so since it is discharged it's not really obvious what what we see but there is also a very important key metric which is the milli ohm resistance so 
there are certain ranges when the battery is considered uh, in a condition I will show here in the video somewhere in, in the corner that to 75 to 150 milliamps it is in an excellent condition from 150 to 250 it is in a good condition and anything above 250 it's like a pure or marginal condition we can consider this battery is in a good shape because we have 100 milliamps let's see an other battery what i bring with me this if we test it this is in an excellent condition due to that it has 47 milli ohm resistance internal resistance and in an auto mode it is already starting to discharge and we see that it's kind of powerful the values are starting to accumulate uh, for the milliamp power and for the wet uh, watt hour considering that your charger is we have covered our charger when it is discharging one more thing what you should be very careful this 2 watts resistance starts to heat up so don't touch it because it can be hot up to 60-80 degrees in Celsius okay let's now talk about some interesting part if we take out the battery and as I have mentioned you already you can even test your power bank and I have a, a power bank with me which is 5 volts 1 amp as an output and it should make around 5 watts if I check it so if you connect to that port the, your power bank obviously it will show some false internal resistance because it because the BMS of that um, power bank we are we, we are not able to see how much is the internal resistance so you can't connect directly but it's good to test your discharge rate for the battery and for the power bank and if you see it is producing uh, 4.5 54 watts which is quite acceptable in my opinion and uh, if it would be fully charged because isn't fully charged then it would produce the 5 watts so this tester is even good for testing a power bank now let's see what is the case with the broken battery if I bring with me so this battery itself I have marked it previously that is broken and you can even see that the internal resistance it's pretty high and there is zero watts inside of uh, zero volts inside of that battery so probably these kind of batteries are causing that your laptop battery or any kind of battery which is using uh, that type of 18650 type of batteries wouldn't charging or if it's in a battery pack then it would create confusion find that video interesting don't forget to hit the subscribe button because next time we will talk about the BMS which can prevent the batteries or it can extend the battery's life by using it normally so and even we will create our own battery pack in the next video hit the like and subscribe. Thank you very much.